Hey guys, welcome back to BTNHD, and this is part three of four of my little mini series of how to create a Radius server within Server 2008 R2. And let's begin on part three. So the last time that we uh, were together, we uh, actually configured a certificate. So let's close our console. And I'm gonna hit yes on this because I wanna save it. And I wanna do a cert. Console, save it to the desktop. There we go. And what we want to do is go into Start Administrative Tools, and we want to locate our Network Policy Server. Once this loads up, what you want to do is you want to right-click your NPS local host node and go to Register Server in Active Directory. You're gonna get this nice little prompt saying to enable NPS to authenticate users in Active Directory, the computers running NPS must be authorized to read users' dialing properties from the domain. Just hit OK. And then you get another prompt. Basically, this computer is not now authorized to read users' dialing properties from the, from the domain of blah, whichever domain you're part of. Hit OK. And from here, once you're done with that, you want to get into this portion right here, the standard configuration, and you want to hit the drop down. And within the drop down, you want to do is a radius server for 802.1x wireless or wired connection. Click on that. And then, as you can see right here, this change to configure 802.1x, we're going to click on that. And the type of connection that we want, we want to do a secure wireless connection. And you're going to give it a name. It's really up to you what kind of name that you want to give it. So I am going to give it, uh, let's go, I'm going to go to BTN HDWP. Hit next. Then we want to click for uh, to add a radius client then we need to give it friendly name so I'm gonna give it uh, BTN clients BTN HD clients and now we need an IP address so let me do a IP config on my machine my range is uh, 158 so let's give it uh, 192.129.168.60. Okay. So, oh, did that backwards. 168.129.60. Okay. Now, this internet, this IP address has to be a fixed one. So, clients that are registering to share the secret. So, we want to share the secrets menu and if you want you enter a password so I'm going to enter a secret password right here and if you want you can actually verify this resolve press OK and we're going to press OK awesome and we're going to hit next now from here, the type of EAP policy that you want, you want to pick the protective EAP from Microsoft. And we're going to click configure. And within the configure portion, you want to select the secure password. And you want to hit edit. Now this is really up to you of how many numbers of authentication retires that you want. By default, there's two. And also you have also by default allow clients to change password after it has expired. Now this is really up to you if you want to do that. So I'm going to leave everything as is. Press OK. But if you want to manage the passwords, I would say uncheck this. But I'm not going to do it. Just, just press OK for that. And we are going to OK. And we're going to hit next. Now we're going to choose a group that will be able to authenticate within our Radius server. So this is really up to you. If you have a specific group of people that you want access to your Radius server, go for it. But I am going to add my domain users because these are the people that I want Radius access to have. Uh, also for my administrative users as well. So I'm gonna add my, my domain admins. There we go. 
and I'm gonna hit next and now configure the traffic control this is really up to you if you want I am not gonna do this because this again is all internal so I'm not gonna take care of the uh, doing the tunnel protocols so I'm gonna press OK and I'm gonna hit next and I'm going to finish now after finishing the configuration you want to go to start administrative tools and then find the MPS service and restart it so we want to go into services and I'm going to close this and you need to restart your NPS services so let's expand our services application and we need to restart this guy right here so I'm gonna right click and restart it awesome so what we need to do is I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna exit out of my prompt I'm gonna go back into start and network policy server this is what I'm gonna start and by clicking on your radius clients and servers let me expand this a little bit I'm gonna expand this node and we are going to go to radius clients and you should see the created client that we have already created awesome now I'm able to authenticate with radius with our radius server now we're able to authenticate with our radius server so it's pretty easy uh, now this is the basic setup for radius server okay now you can also set up your radius more detail under the MPS policy node connection request policies or the network policies now this right here is more in depth so pretty soon I'm gonna do future videos on this but I'm just giving you guys the rundown of it now let's uh let's let's pay more attention to our network policies for a moment now within network policies we want to do is we want to create a Wi-Fi AP and right click on it okay so what we want to do is our client that we created we want to right click on it and we want to go to properties we want to go into the constraints tab and if you want you could do encrypted on the authentication unencrypted authentication and you could do allow clients to connect without negotiating and authenticate again I'm doing all this because this is a testing environment but best practice is you don't want this option and you really don't want this option you probably do want this option or you could just leave everything as default but I'm gonna do all this because again eh, this is this is only for an environment it's not really for production in production environment you should choose only the most secure protocols alright guys this right here is just less stuff I just want it to work but again on a production radius server pick the correct protocols for security and then the next thing that you want to go is you want to go to settings and you want to go to encryption and within encryption for testing purposes I left all these options on in production environments you should choose the strongest encryption which in my opinion would be the MM the MPPE 128 60 uh, 128 bit so you can actually disable all these and leave this one for your production but for our testing environment I'm gonna leave them all as is and that's about it you should go through all your settings and set up radius to your preferences this is really up to you there's so many different options within the radius server but you have to just go to each one I can't really tell you which one is best for your environment you just have to go into each one and modify it to fit your environment so hopefully you guys enjoyed this three or four of our little mini series of creating a radius server using 802.1x configuration I think on the last video I am going to set up an access point uh, with my home router so I catch you guys later if you have any comments leave them right below and I peace out